So, it's a lovely evening and uh, I thought tonight we'll uh, head out on the bike and uh, not the same bike but the Hitway BK10S uh, I'm going to take this out do a bit of photography see how it goes um, it's a smaller bike than the last one I uh, reviewed which was the Engui EP2 Pro amazing bike really like this like that one but this one pretty much the same uh, it hasn't got a 750 watt motor it's a bit smaller the uh, the body frame of this bike's a lot smaller so it'll be interesting to see how this works uh, I think this should be better on hills because it's lighter uh, the wheels are thick they're fat but they're smaller tires than the other one so uh, yeah we're gonna head off on the bike uh, God knows where we're going hopefully go somewhere get a couple of pictures and uh, see how this bike is it any good for photography we'll see the Hitway BK10S has a lightweight aluminium alloy frame with two 20 by 4 inch fat tyres offering a range of up to 40 miles on a single charge. It has a front lamp and a rear lamp, has smooth riding with its shock absorbing front fork. The seats can be adjusted to different heights, it also has measurements on the back seats for you to remember. Also the seat has a ventilation hole. It has an LCD screen which features three different types of speeds. It has a seven speed Shimano gear system. The front wheel has a quick release latch. The front and rear disc brakes provide effective stopping power. It has a 250 watt brushless motor that delivers efficient power for smooth acceleration. The bike is also foldable with a release latch on the main frame and a latch on the front steering which can be folded down. The BK10S is both engineered for urban commuting and rugged off-road adventures. Right, gotta say the seat's very comfortable on this. Uh, yeah, I like the seat on this, very comfortable. Got another bit of a hill coming up here. What am I on, the seventh gear? Do you know what I've got to I've got to say it really gets up the hills pretty good better than the others I reckon not sure it's because the bike's actually lighter I mean it does has it does have the same frame as the uh, Engui EP2 Pro but a lot smaller frame smaller tires so maybe that's why it gets up the hills much better it's not as heavy One thing this bike doesn't have it doesn't have a throttle but I'm pretty sure you can uh, buy a throttle and there uh, I'm sure there's a uh, uh, somewhere on the cable here you can attach a throttle to which is pretty good anyway that was like a throttle
brakes are doing well going downhill on this one uh, on the other one I could smell the brakes when I was coming down the hill because I was having to use the brakes hard uh, you could smell the brakes but this one seems all right no smell so uh, no smell here <laughs> Interesting about going on a bike, you go to places, you pass places you've lived all the time and you see places you've never seen before. Really interesting. Ah, I, I think I know where I am now in, in this little village over here. Well there's no images up there to be had. Too many trees. do is I'll probably head towards the lake and try and take a picture over there this evening well it's nice yeah I'm quite really impressed with this bike uh, for a small thing well it's not that small but but the it shifts yeah very good really really good this Hitway knee bike I think the Hitway BK10S Really impressed with this. Right, so we're just approaching the lake and uh, probably going up the far end and uh, see if we can find a photo to be taken down there. in the evenings, it's so much fun. I've got an idea for a photograph. Hopefully there's no gate there. I don't think there's no gate. Uh, should be able to get in. But there are people where I want to go. That never happens.
Right, so what I've got here, what I've set up here, is I've come on an angle here, really. I want this tree on the right here. The sun's behind me. It's spilling some nice light on these leaves and that really pop in on the right of the frame. Now, framing on the left side, I've got these two sort of trunk of the trees going off onto the left and a small tree coming in onto the uh, left, right of the frame. But what, what's nice on this image, I think, is the contrast of the light in the foreground. We've got light spilling on the mountains right over there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lake and uh, nice dark clouds for detail. I don't know, caught my eye, so uh, I'm going to try this for an image and uh, try and look for something else. So just come over here and uh, this is really stunning. So what I've done here is I've gone low with a tripod uh, to the floor. Um, what I've got here, I've got these trees on the right of the frame. I've got the trees on the left of the frame. Got these leaves just above, uh, just coming over the uh, tops over there. But what's stunning about this is the way the light is hitting the trees on the right and uh, on the uh, left, left, right. Uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. You've also got light spilling all on the grass here, right in the foreground. Then you've got these little strands of grass and the three rocks there, um, just in the foreground there on the lake. Absolutely beautiful and the mountains in the background. Uh, stunning image. So yeah, I think I've got my evening images for tonight coming out on the bike. It's been beautiful, so I'm going to head back on the bike and uh, I'll put these images up now. Stunning. So I'm quite impressed with this bike. Um, it does shift. Um, at the moment, the bike is set to legal, uh, which is, you know, 15 miles per hour. It's not going over that, but you can hack it if you want to go faster. That's possible. But do you know what? It's nippy enough, I think. Yeah, definitely. Really impressed with this. Uh, feels solid for a small, well it's not that small, but smaller compared to the Angui I had before this. Very impressed. Except for these gates, which are a bit annoying. What I usually do when I come to a junction, I'll drop gear so I'm not having to struggle on a top gear when I'm moving off the road because it takes a while to kick in. Come on. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, what's this rush hour? Is there a party anywhere? I don't know about. There must be a party going on somewhere. So yeah, by being in a low gear, it get across the road much better. I think the tyres could do with a bit of air in them, I don't think I put enough air in the uh, tyres. When you get these bikes new, they're not fully, you don't have air full of the tyres, so you have to put quite a bit of air in yourself and I don't think I put enough in it, so they're a bit flat. So they're okay. I like it when you put it on to Assistant 3, it really kicks in. <laughs> I like that. Go through this little village to get off the road, I think. This is a really, really nice ride, just like the other one. Comfortable seat, it just goes really well. Not much effort in the pedalling at all. Um, and like I said, the hills that I've been on before, just great. over there. Payment ended over there so we had to get over on this side. Which is a bit of a pain because they're gonna have to get back on the other side. I feel, you know, there's seven gears, but sometimes I feel if you do with an extra two gears, especially when you're in that assist three and you just want to go more. If you do with a couple more gears, it'd be good. So that was the uh, little adventure on the uh, BK10S by Hitway. 
uh, what my thoughts on that ride uh, do you know what uh, for a little bike well it's not that little but you know it's a lot more little than the last one I was pretty amazed by it uh, I thought it was excellent uh, the uh, the ride was really smooth uh, it was quite nippy it's a bit of torque in it um, and I noticed this was much better for getting up the hills uh, than the last one probably because it's a smaller bike but yeah I mean I did a lot of pedaling uh, this evening but uh, it was just a breeze you know it wasn't hard or anything it was just really nice and uh, I enjoyed it I was quite surprised at this little bike uh, I really enjoyed it and uh, I think it's got a it's a nice little bike it folds up a lot smaller than the last one the, the other one was a bit awkward to get into the back of a car but this one should go in no problem um, yeah it's even got a bike rack to put a bag on it um, so yeah I definitely recommend that that was a lot of fun uh, so yeah I'll be testing e-bikes every now and then uh, I think I've got another two or three to review uh, why not um, I suppose what I'm trying to do is find the perfect bike for photography where I can carry it in the car convenient lightweight carry it if, if I come to any gates where I can't get through I can carry it over so yeah I'm going through all these bikes looking for the perfect bike so yeah um, if you're interested in this I really enjoyed going on this and having a ride it was lovely I'll uh, leave the link below so there you go the hitway bk10s uh two thumbs up for me really liked it um one thing i can say is i could do it could do with the throttle but you can easily buy them and uh, adapt it to the uh i think there's a place on the wiring where you can put one if you want one if you want one so that's it uh until next time thanks for watching bye